This is Dale Hartwick. He's a child. This is Dale Hartwick. He's a child molester. Child molester Dale Hartwick, who's also guilty of aiding OPP for drop charges. He is now guilty of attempted murder on me with Tony fucking Hearns, Axel Rose of Napanee, OPP little bitch boy. He is also my cousin, and he is also guilty of molesting me in Winnipeg, Manitoba as a child. The guy must be proud of himself. He can self-suck his own dick while he fucks his own sister, Sherry. Their dad fucks their own sister. He has sex with his own mother. I've, I, I know this for a fact. He's my cousin, and I hate to say it because they are inbreds, but it's a fact. He has sex with his sister. He has sex with his mother. His dad has sex with his sister. They all gangbang each other, taking turns on one another. He self-sucks. He's a child molester. And now he's guilty of attempted murder on me with intent for OPP dropped charges. Dale Hartwick, Tony Hearns. Also, Harry Hartwick, too, is guilty of sex assaults. I fucked his wife, Jackie, in Winnipeg, Manitoba, while he sat and watched as a 15, as I was 15 years old, while he whacked off in a corner like a little pervert piece of shit. They're guilty of sex assaults as well, they're child molesters, and they're guilty of murders, the Hartwick family, the Hearns family, Blair Hardy, Billy Waldridge. Tyler Lake, Jason Benolstein, Ray LeBlow, they're guilty of human trafficking, drug trafficking, injuring and torturing me for the cops, full fucking identity theft and changes through this for four years, medically blacklisted, I'm being turned into a vegetable by these pieces of shit, conveniently, it cost me $22,000 to have them arrested because they suck OPP nuts and because they can implicate, because they can they can verify everything I've been saying. They're guilty of the murder of my mother. They're guilty of murdering my dogs. They're guilty. They murdered Jack Clark. They murdered Olivia Jocko from drug overdoses. Blair Hardy is guilty of raping the woman before she passed. And I hate to bring up people's names who have gone. And I mean no disrespect to to their families in any way, shape, or form. I and no disrespect. But it's a fact. Blair Hardy is guilty of raping her at Mike Gordon's at 45 Dundas Street, apartment 3, back before she passed away. He was also, him and J Jason Van Alstein were involved with the murder of Jack Clark as well. They are the ones that are selling the laced fentanyl and the laced drugs around Napanee, causing the overdoses with OPP, Robert Kane, human trafficking, sex slavery trafficking, kidnapping, murdering cops who need to be criminally and felony arrested, ex-chief or commander before leaving, before leaving Napanee, year 2019, drove a white Jeep Wrangler. He's guilty of attempted murder, had me shot. He's also a sex offender, pedophile. They're Hells Angels cops, Spencer Mills, 14716. He is a serial killer. All of these co staff sergeants, years 2019, 2021, kidnapping and sodomy, sex assault. Shannon Cork is a human trafficker, guilty of murders. She laughed in my face over her boss, Billy Waldridge's arrest as he went on to kill, stalk, and kill my mother in 2020. And she knew exactly what was going to happen. She was well aware of it and involved with having him kill my mother and to the point of even showing up at my place to tell me what kind of fucking glasses what kind of glasses I should get this is the kind of fucking OPP $22,000 extortion arrest lung and kidney damage medical blacklisting file falsification false charges arrested kidnapping blood and piss stealing lies time by cover ups is what Ontario Provincial Police are truly about. Families are murdered and missing, natives kidnapped, trafficked. It is the police involved with these hate crimes. 
they're guilty of pedophilia, sex slavery, trafficking through Billy Waldridge, who used to stalk your children at Tim Hortons on Dundas Street here in Napanee every single day at lunchtime. Remember this, people, and nobody is arrestable. I'm being turned into a fucking vegetable. I have no feeling or stimulation in my brain or in my head. I can't go to a hospital. My lungs are completely fucked. I tried getting medical help without a medical note from one certain CEO of a hospital who's gate guilty of criminally and negligently involved with murders and cover-ups along with patient relations at a hospital and along with other doctors, file falsifications, treatment refusals, discriminations, name-calling, trying to have your victims falsely locked up through fucking being sex assaulted through cops, blaming, blaming the victims. I can just imagine if it was a child or a woman that went to see the doctors of, of sex assault the cops, they probably would have been laughed at and they probably would have been fucking thrown into a mental hospital because of asking for help from sex assaults that doctors obviously think is a big fucking joke here in Napanee and then turn around when you ask for help they have you charged for harassment because they're criminally and negligently involved and that is their way to try to save their ass for the crimes that they are committing with and for OPP with Bill Wooldridge with Blair Hardy with Tyler Lake with Jason Van Alstyne this is why OPP is so successful with their fucking murders, especially when it's being done to homeless, poor, elderly, disabled. Yes, they're guilty of financial thefts and frauds, welfare, disability thefts and frauds, pension thefts and frauds, identity thefts and frauds, stalking, and murders right here in Napanee with the fucking cops. They're Hells Angels Associated. Bill Woldridge is a Wanna Harvard inmate sex offender, now bald glasses goatee. He, I was by his place yesterday, and as soon as he walks out of the house, he has OPP tailing his ass, walking, driving behind him, protecting him. So, this is why they cannot and will not touch him when you're Hells Angels Ontario Chapter Captain, and you are an inmate escapee who has given orders to OPP while committing fucking murders for him then of course you're going to be unarrestable along with meth fed fucking Robert Kane little bitch boy Tyler Teabag Tube Steak Lake he frequents 34 Water Street he frequents his mother his mommy's place on John Street Shelley Barche he frequents a house on Center and Thomas a fat woman obese woman she has blonde hair it is the crack it's a crack shack and Rayla blows and 34 Water Street at a woman named Brandy's between there and a house beside video 99 a woman Sherry lives there and that's where Blair Hardy also hides out as well there is Holly Carlisle there is an Ally Cooper there is Michelle Irish there is a Sam there is a Kelly Maxwell there is a Lisa Whittington there is a Shelly Veeley and there is others who are also aiding Blair fucking Hardy as well in his crimes they're probably his little hookers because they're involved with the sex slavery trafficking and I would like to know OPP before I'm turned into a complete vegetable how much was I sold for how much did you sell my mother's life for? How much did you sell me for for this to Blair Hardy? Anybody need anybody that needs drop charges in Napanee, you just look for Spencer Mills. You go see the Ontario Provincial Police. You tell them you will murder for them, and they will hook you up with a lot of money. They will hook you up with drugs, and they cannot and will not touch you. And I can fucking prove it to the point where they will surround hands on guns to prevent anything legal on them, on Billy Woldridge, Blair Hardy, on doctors, or anyone else involved. I heard they just recently went to my cousin's house who had to have somebody charged. I wonder if you charged her $22,000 to write a fucking report to have people arrested and charged. I guarantee you didn't. I must be the only one that you extort from because it involves 
your murders, OPP. So this is why you know I can't afford your $22,000. This is why you will not file reports. This is why nobody can file homicide reports on cops, sex assaults, kidnapping, blood and piss stealing, human trafficking, families of murdered and missing, hate crimes, terrorism, all Lennox and Annington, Ontario Provincial Police. Even right up to the ex-OPP chief or commander, like I said, drove a white Jeep Wrangler here in Napanee 2019. I still want him arrested and charged for attempted murder with intent to commit first degree. All because of me speaking of their human homeless trafficking crimes and homeless exploitation for monetary gain. Out of the Morning Star mission, pastor, priest, or whatever he is, a calling wearing, Satan worshipping, piece of shit, pedophile, child molesting, fucking asshole, David Smith is also involved with this as well. This is how OPP are laundering money through the homeless to the point where Tyler Lake, Blair Hardy, Javen Alstein, and the rest of them, if they've received $300 a day from Robert Kane and OPP along with drugs because they have all the access to all the free drugs they need, him being a drug cop, they've forked out to the point of $2,190,000 to these pieces of shit for four years. And this is possibly how they are money laundering through them. Luckily, no matter what is done to me, I cannot go to a hospital. I cannot get help. I cannot do anything about what is happening to me. OPP has shared this right up to the point where I need a fucking medical note to get medical help, which I'm certainly not going to get because these doctors are criminally and negligently involved and even to the point of having me charged for trying to save my life so they can get out of murder and attempted murder lawsuits with criminal negligent felony intent to commit patient relations at a hospital I'm not saying which hospital but patient relations at a hospital doctors at a hospital file falsifications beware people because I had not been to a hospital or a, doc or a hospital or a doctor in almost 10 years prior to being shot by OPP and then all the lies and time buying began on me <coughs> all feeling in the complete right side of my head is gone from being fucking deformed from being numbed too convenient. I'm not taking a fall for Dale Hartwick. I'm not taking a fall for Blair Hardy because he is Spencer Mills's boss. Because he an obsessed homosexual closet case fucking goof. He rapes, murders. I'm 51 years old and I'm going through this and there's nothing I can do. See, damages are done after four years of me being called a retard. Doctors calling me hallucinating and delusion. Well, with with 100% proof of my crimes and what has taken place with me, all I would get is I seen your file, I seen your file, I seen your file. Therefore, when you know if you're poor, homeless, able, disabled, or whatever, if OPP don't get their dick sucked that day, and you happen to be around them. Be very careful because you just might find yourself being fucking murdered. Yeah, that's right. They will kill because nobody sucks their fucking dick on that on a certain day. And I hate to say that. This is not about hate towards cops. This is about criminal pieces of shit who are guilty of domestic terrorism, injuring, torture crimes, using doctors, inmates. They're guilty of sex offenses full physical identity theft to frame victims there is probably 90% of everybody in Quinney Detention Center through OPP is falsely accused is falsely accused they are human trafficking victims OPP are hiding in the system while they are committing identity thefts on them and if people think that can't happen I think I can very well 100% prove my words that physical fucking identity theft and changes can happen. 
four years of remote neuro monitoring you saw me 24 7 surveillance OPP watch me sleep they watch me piss they watch me shit when I'm take when I'm having a piss and I pull out my dick and having a piss they're probably standing around with one hand on their badge and the other on their nuts fucking whacking their tic tacs because they're perverts I want cops arrested I want Bill Waldridge arrested I want him charged along with Tyler Lake Javen Alstein Blair Hardy, Ray LeBlow, Tyler Lake, Dale Hartwick, and Tony Hearns. I'm being the end of my bloodline. I now share DNA with one of, with all of these bastards, and I can 100% prove it. Too convenient. I'm looking like fucking Blair Hardy. Too convenient. And Dale Hartwick. It's because I have all of these pieces of shit 24-7 broadcasting through me using remote neuron wandering on me and this is why my skull split I have them on each side of my fucking head and I do not care how crazy that sounds this has nothing to do with mental illness this is 100% criminal be safe everybody one way or another OPP Blair Hardy Lake Van Alstyne Hartwick I'm gonna have you arrested in charge and I'm gonna have cops arrested in charge for murders and attempted murders sex assault kidnapping and the rest that you're involved in for the course of four fucking years along with doctors and the hospitals that you are using to cover up your crimes while you cover up theirs and I will not be proven wrong I try getting medical help, I get arrested, it is a criminal offense for me, OPP and the hospital assured this. Last time I tried to get arrested, the very same day I tried to get arrested, it was done to me. I was going to get arrest and charging on cops and everybody involved conveniently, justice of the peace, had it done to me before I could do it they fucked me over good she needs to be investigated for corruption obstruction and possibly involved with organized crime with OPP cops the one's name be safe everybody you do know how to assure your murders right Spencer Mills you fucking lowlife and all of these cops involved they are still friends with one Russell Williams a serial killing ex-colonel from Trenton, Ontario. XOPP Chief 2, Staff Sergeants, Robert Kane, Robert Lucas, Stacy, mental health workers, Shelley Hafner, Spencer Mills, they are all Hells Angels and Bandito cops as well. They're very seriously dangerous and the longer this goes on this is going to be finished I'm going to be fucked as Blair Hardy or one of these other bastards by convenient mistake in identity right OPP this is why you're doing it to fuck me for Blair Hardy's crimes be safe everyone if you think innocent people aren't sitting in jail because of criminal fucking cops while they're hiding them through the system committing identity thefts, sex assaults and murders on them and getting away with it <laughs>